Hey, role players. So, we've covered the world of our brilliant Bruin and the basics of how to build a character. And if you're thinking, Becca, no, we haven't. What are you talking about? Has your brain been corrupted by the Bruin? No, of course it hasn't, silly. You just missed the first two videos, so check those out in the description below and catch up on them, because now it's time to talk about resolving tests. This is a role-playing game after all, so there has to be a system by which the results of attempted actions are determined. Like many games, our brilliant Ruin uses dice, though the GM never rolls. As mentioned in our last video on character building, when a player attempts an action that could break many directions, they create a dice pool, collecting a number of D6s equal to personality plus skill. If you're trying to intimidate a highway robber, well, if you had any wealth left in your portfolio, maybe you could bribe them, but instead you'll propose rolling audacity, plus physicality. A two audacity and one physicality gives you three D6s. And maybe you have a modifier from a set of brass knuckles and the GM gives you four dice. This is an important role. You can't let the highwaymen steal the precious goods in your pack. So you decide to use passion, adding a passion die to your sheet and adding two more D6s to your roll. So now you're at six D6. The GM might remind you that it's raining heavily and you aren't dressed for the weather, adding a condition that removes 1d6, so you roll 5d6. In our brilliant ruin, each six, called a brill in game, counts towards success, and each one, called a gloom, counts against you. But you used passion, so fives on the dice count as brills as well. If you end with one brill, brilliant, that's a success. And three brills is a triumph. In the case of a triumph, you take away one passion die from your sheet as the great triumph of your success ameliorates your emotional volatility. But if you have more glooms than brills, more ones than fives and sixes in this case since we used passion, that's a catastrophe and you will suffer the consequences. In conflict, like a violent altercation, a player builds a pool as usual, personality plus skill, generally fight. And the number of brills is the amount of vitality damage that would be dealt. Though the defender can make a skill test to resist and reduce the damage by the number of brills, that sixes on the dice again, the same process can be made for social, mental, or emotional conflict, with damage done as distress incurred and resistance made with a personality test. And okay, okay, I can hear you through the liminal space of internet and time. What about NPCs, Becca? Well, since the GM doesn't roll dice, NPCs have a rating that represents their damage dealt in conflict and receive the entirety of damage dealt by players, but they may still receive advantages from a tool, equipment, or community property. So no matter what, it all boils down to a player deciding a relevant personality and skill and rolling their pool. Count up those brills, pray for no glooms, and may the GM be generous and vicious in turns. And this concludes our series introducing Studio Hermitage's new RPG, Our Brilliant Ruin. You can back it on Kickstarter through March 27th, so what are you waiting for? Click that link in our description and get root.